Ladies and gentlemen, in this video I want to share something that has been worrying me in the field of nutrition, the change of words and their definitions. Before we go further, please like, subscribe, comment for the algorithm. We all know vegans are trying to change phrases such as plant-based to mean vegan diets exclusively. This way, they will confuse people who see plant-based diets recommended and think vegan diets are recommended. When we all know that plant-based actually means animal foods included. They know that the Mediterranean diet has a lot of animal foods, but by calling it a plant-based diet, they are trying to steer people away from nutritious animal foods and into purely vegan diets. We also see the attempt to change the phrase nutrient dense to make plant foods more favorable by changing the meaning from nutrients per gram into nutrients per calorie. If you want to know more about this change, feel free to watch my other video. However, one more phrase that they are now trying to change is the phrase good quality protein. If you don't know, Dr. Christopher Gardner, PhD and professor at Stanford University, published a paper named Perspective, the public health case for modernizing the definition of protein quality. In this paper, the authors suggest changing the phrase good quality protein from a protein that contains the amino acids needed in the correct amounts for the human body into protein food that also has phytochemicals, fiber and no saturated fat. And, in their words, it's also good for the environment. Just for a bit of context, animal foods are called good sources of protein due to being the perfect package that our body needs with no additional supplements or mixes needed. They also have almost perfect digestibility, with no anti-nutrients that impede nutrient absorption. But, according to Dr. Gardner, meat has saturated fat, which is so bad. Hormones giving to the animals, which, of course, he believes all animals are like that. As well as antibiotics, and of course, animal foods have no fiber and are so, so bad for the environment. Because of all that, animal foods should be called bad sources of protein. In Dr. Gardner's mind, beans are the best source of protein because they contain fiber, no saturated fat and lots of good phytochemicals. So once again we have a vegan activist trying to change our vocabulary in order to confuse people in the future that will read good sources of protein are recommended and will think plant protein instead of what's actually healthy which is animal protein. I wonder why this doctor is such a big advocate for vegan foods. So I'm going to be talking about a couple things, and I've been involved with some groups, so hopefully there's no conflicts of interest perceived. I'm a pretty objective kind of guy. All evidence to the contrary. And so we got some funding. Full disclosure, it came from Beyond Meat, so I'm an industry shill. Keep that in mind as you see the next result. Hmm. Why am I not surprised? I wonder if he had been paid by the meat industry, his findings would have been totally different. Next video, we will be talking about fiber, and hopefully after that, I'll finally finish my big project. In the meantime, keep an eye out for vegans trying to weasel their definitions into science. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.